Hey everybody, how you guys all doing? My name is Mark Gill, this is Marks on the Grill, and this is our unboxing for our 28 inch griddle, grill, and this is our unboxing for our 28 inch griddle cooking station from Blackstone. So let me show you a couple of things before we get going here, okay? This model has the new rear grease management system, okay? The older ones had one that kind of went off to the side. Love this one a lot more, it's a lot easier to control. And this is the same cold rolled steel. If you've uh, if you've been familiar with our Blackstone products, seen some of our uh, grills online, it's fantastic. So let's get started here. Now this guy is kind of a fun size. We've got a few of the different sizes. We've got like the 17 inch, the 36 inch. We got a few of them. And this one I'm excited about because the 17 inch, if you've got like you, the family, and then a few people come over, kind of gets a little bit small. But then if you've got like the the big 36 inch, holy moly, you got so much space going there. You wonder if you're like uh, you know blowing propane so here we go we're gonna take this guy give the kids something to do later uh this is cool the 36 inch stainless one i haven't seen that one yet we uh we're rocking that one back here a lot the tailgater you can see right over my shoulder we take that one camping all the time uh heard great things about the pizza oven they got so much cool stuff man the wraparound accessories very cool the griddle toolkit that's a must-have fun stuff man they're doing it right my smoker this morning is a drink holder cheers it's a good idea to have a trash can post for this part of it because there's so many, uh, so many little pieces and things that got to come out. So let's start going through this. There we go. So this is your uh, your blister pack here. Uh, not too much for tools and stuff. That's great. I don't see need much more than about a screwdriver in here. So let me set that over there. All right. So in this box, it's like Christmas with a new grill. Comes. Super fun. Hi Daisy, how's it going? Not cooking this morning. Ah. <laughs> the dogs show up no food this looks like a propane holder that's what that is Put that there there's a bee flying around my head so if i take off like a 12 year old girl one one wheel ha, ha, ha. two two wheels ha, ha, ha. that means it's portable i like that all right there we go this looks like the grease strip tray, nice big one too. I like that. You know, a little tip for you, I like to line these in foil. So much easier to clean at the end of your cook. Out. All right. There we go. What do we got here? This looks like a rectangular piece of metal. I'm sure that's going to be handy for something. Okay. That looks like some sort of handle. Oh, I'm getting into good stuff now. All right, yeah, usually good to take these uh, styrofoam pieces out. There you go. We'll be environmentally responsible for those later. There we go. All right, what do we got here? So, get that kind of out of the way. And here we got. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Oh. Mm. Huh? That's using your noodle. All right, so that will come out much easier now. This looks like, all right, two pegs, looking at the box. That's gotta be your side shell. That's what that's gotta be. So let's, I like the way Blackstone does their grills. You know why? Uh, if, if, if you've had much experience with putting grills together, I'm telling you, man, it's like 25 years ago when your 12 year old wanted a bicycle and there was 8,000 parts Christmas Eve and none of them quite fit right. That's what I love about the way Blackstone does their grills, man. It's quick, it's easy, you don't need much for tools. Fantastic. I invite Trisha in, so uh, instead of just one of those static, you know, look down camera shots, uh, you can see some of the nuances inside, like your wiring system here. So if there's a bunch of twist ties in one of these and you're going all willy nilly with them, don't do it with that one. All right? There's a little tip for you. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put the legs down. There we go. We go. By the way, if you've noticed a palm tree magically show up in the back, <laughs> it's because the sun is coming out over the horizon and messing up my shot. <laughs> that's where the tree came from. Oh, that's nice and light. Like that. All right, so let's go ahead. Ooh, it's a one-hander. So this peg here, you just pull it, and that leg comes up. That's how it locks into play. Then, you just stretch that one out. Ta-da! Ta-da! Pretty easy, isn't it? All right, so we got the front here. Nope. Let's turn this around so you can see it. There we go. So, hey, listen, before we go on, let's do the wheels first. So we are going to install the wheels. Super simple, all right? So you got two wheels right here. The nuts and bolts are already in them, so you don't have to bust into that blister pack yet. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead, slide that in. 
like so. There we go. It can be a tiny bit tricky, but once you slide it in there, super easy. So let's go ahead and tighten this guy. Little rubber end, always faces to the outside. There we go. Just like that. You can finger tighten that one. Those ones are easy. All right, let's do the other side. Remember, rubber to the outside. All right, wheels. All right, wheels. Oh, check. Tank hanger assembly. So we need a rod. I'm missing a rod. I'm missing a rod. I'm missing a rod. Rod. <laughs> All right, so let's match it up. There we go. So have a look here. They want the two. Oh, is, oh, is this one of those ones you can't screw up? Nope, you can screw it up. So you want to <laughs> you want to make sure that's up there like that. So we're gonna bust into our blister pack here, and it's cool. You have uh, see this? You have long bolts and short bolts. That's it. Here we go. So that now. You know what's cool about that though? Only one way to do it. Only one way to do it. I have put together grills. You get on step 34 and you've missed something on step 14. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of bolts here. Move those in. There we go. I like to do everything finger tight as much as I can right off the bat and then uh, then go back and tighten it up. And then that way you don't kind of, you know, get everything off skew and I tell you. All right, what are we doing now? Now, okay, we've already pulled the legs out so you could see that bottom tray so it wants us to put it on the side all right you got a little low table like that it's uh, a little more comfortable than working on the ground so how do they want us to do this this is where my spatial stuff is just out the window so it looks like this guy wants to go that way okay with the wheel nailed it all right now it wants to take us and uh, put the propane tank holder together so we have our long stick now we need oh wait a minute we gotta put that guy up here there we go now this is to hold your uh, propane tank in place all right so this is just going to be two more of the long bolts and two more of the flange nuts to hold them in there there we go all right. yeah. so you ever like think to yourself when you were doing this kind of stuff and you get to the end and there's either no pieces and you're like, man, they don't like give you one extra uh, like screw or nail, seriously. Or then you get to the end and there's five pieces left. <laughs> I used to work at exhibitions and fairs. You know when that's really scary? Right after they put together the zipper. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> All the nuts and bolts left. <laughs> they had left. <laughs> What's the zipper? Oh, one of those rides. Oh. <laughs> There we go. So we're gonna put our shelf in place. Come on in back here. Now you want to make sure that you put it in this way, not this way, because then it's upside down. Alright? So put it in like that, and then it stretches out a little bit and it slides right into place. So now you got two thumb screws, super easy. Alright, then the first one, before you put that shelf in place, you're gonna put your propane tank holder on place. So this guy goes at the bottom because that's what's gonna hold your propane tank up. This one, see that? Slides right in there. Actually, before you do that, there's a small hole in there. You wanna make sure you line that up. Make life a lot easier on yourself. And the thumb screw catches right away. I love that. Nothing to guide, nothing to get all messed up. So before you tighten that, you wanna make sure you get the second screw in there to hold it in place. The one long bolt that has the thread at the end and smooth right there, all right? So that is gonna slide right on through there and just tighten in the back. There we go. Once that's tight, now give that a good tighten. Perfect, couldn't be easier. Okay, so we got our shelf in place. Ow! Take two. <laughs> all right, so we got our shelf in place, our wheels are on, so it's time to stand this guy up, all right? Now let's pick him up like this. Because the sun's starting to get at us. There we go. How oh, cool. All right, so let's get our shelf in place. Just like this. Wow. That's some kind of easy. So for this, you're going to use your last four short bolts. 
and your last four flange nuts. There we go. So the cool thing about flange nuts is they grab onto that metal. So now's a good time to take your screwdriver, or if you got the lazy gene like I do, one of these guys, and just go around to the bolts and give them all a quick little tighten. That's it. All right, one more thumb screw to put in. There we go. Why didn't I do that while I was on the table? Because I forgot. That's why. <laughs> it's good now though. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put our buttons on. All right, there's only one way they go on. Just like that and just like that. One more piece out front and we're all set. The last thing we need to do is put in our igniter switch. The little nubby end, the positive goes out. All right, just like that and that screws into place. There we go. So then uh, before you wander off, just check inside. There it is, you hear it? And you can see it. It's all happening. It's all coming together. <laughs> so we've got our tray, our propane tank holder. We've got everything put in place. We are missing one thing, the magic, the 28 inches of cold rolled steel. And that's what's still left in that box. Come here. Now, remember, this is black stone. It's not silver stone. It's not shiny stone. It's not gleamy stone. It's black stone. So when you take this out of the box, I'll tell you, as good as that looks right now, that's as shiny as it's ever gonna be. Because when you get this seasoned, man, it turns black. Let's go ahead and get the plastic off. Now, um, any discolorations you see inside are from shipping, uh, moisture in warehouses, anything like that. You never worry about anything you see on this because you season it. There's four nubs on the bottom, you can see that. And remember, this is totally reinforced on the back. I love how these guys put stuff together. And it goes right into place right there now you might want to get a hand on that it's kind of heavy all right but once you get it in place man it's there so our grill plates in place 28 inches of cold rolled steel two independent burners which i love electronic ignition i got a plate the whole nine yards handle nice and portable it's on great big wheels last thing we're missing is the grease trap and that's it come on around here i'll show you how it goes in so the last couple of things we need to do the grease trap fits right there comes off super easy when it's time to clean and our shelf just needs a couple of support screws so here's what I appreciate these thumb screws make it so easy you ever tried to crawl around under a grill with a ratchet set and a wrench and screwdriver and band-aids and a swear jar <laughs> this is so easy and we're gonna start some recipes for you real real soon love it guys I'm Mark Hill and this is Mark's on the grill griddle <laughs>